वेलकम बैक दिस इज थर्ड वीडियो ऑफ परफॉर्मेंस डैशबोर्ड 2017 सो वी हैव लर्न इन आवर फर्स्ट टू वीडियो हाउ टू क्रिएट अ पीवर टेबल बाय यूजिंग द कैलकुलेटेड फील्ड्स फॉर दिस रॉ डेटा एंड वी हैव मेड द डायनेमिक रेंज इन आवर फर्स्ट वीडियो देन वी हैव लर्न इन आवर सेकंड वीडियो टू क्रिएटिंग दीस स्लाइसर्स एंड दीस कार्ड्स एंड वी हैव कनेक्टेड दीस cards with this slicer okay friends so request you if you have not watched that video then please watch that video okay so uh, now we will learn uh, how to create this speedometer and this battery chart and uh, this moving man chart uh, in summary sheet tab so we will learn these three things in this video so first of all i will create this speedometer chart for the average log in hours so i'm going to the sheet tab uh, sheet 2 and we we'll learn the speedometer chart so uh, first of all i need average uh, login hours and login efficiency and sales conversion so i'm copying this and pasting it here then we can use equal to average login hours we can take this one and for login efficiency we can take this one and the third one which is sales conversion can take this one okay now we'll change the format for the login efficiency and sale conversion as percentage and for average login hours we'll take the uh, one decimal place okay so first of all we will create the speedometer chart for uh, average login hours so we'll create the speedometer chart first of all here then we will cut that chart and we'll paste on the summary sheet tab okay so i'll create first of all i'll create uh, a donut chart so i'm going to insert sheet tab and um, to the pie and i will insert this donut blank donut and i'll right click so let me make it little bit of smaller okay now right click on this and uh, go to the select data now add a new series so i will add a blank series as uh, i will take 9 uh, times 1 1, 1 1 1 one 4 times comma 1 1 1 1 and this is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and 1 and at the last we will take 9 to make it double okay click okay so let's check this is 10 okay proper now or we will remove all the things like chart title legends and we can make this little bit of bigger now right click on this donut and go to the format data series and uh, uh angle of the first slice we will change as 270 degree okay now we will select this half part of this donut double click on this and go to the uh, fill you can fill it from here or you can go to fill uh, from safe fill also so you can fill as no fill then the next uh, we will take uh, the darker red so we can take this one and in the next we will fill as red you can take this one and the next we will fill as lighter red so we can take this one now we will fill here uh, lighter yellow okay we can take this one or this one then darker yellow then here we will take a lighter green And then next version of this then the next version of this then the next version of this okay so from red to uh, green okay friends now this is our uh, login hours and here we will take uh, the width of the needle so i'm taking uh, let's say as uh, 0.5 and uh, now we are taking uh, so our target of uh, login hours as 9 hours okay this is our target 9 hours you can freeze this 
9 hours so that is why we will if we will make it double then it would be 18 so we will minus 18 minus sum of those two now we will right click here and uh, go to the select data add series name will be average login hours and the series value will take this one click ok ok now this is outside of uh, donut uh, one more donut has been created so right click on this go to the format data series first of all we will change the angle so okay it is already already is 270 no problem so now what we will do we will right click and uh, sorry first of all we will change this chart type so we'll take as uh, average login hours as a uh, pie chart then the angle has been changed and we will take it again as 270 for the pie chart now we'll select this pie chart and go to the format so first of all we will remove the outlines no outline and then we will fill the color as uh, this outside color will take the no color and for this uh, uh, blue color also will take as no fill and for this uh, uh, indicator we'll take uh, the color as uh, black say fill as black so it is a uh, little bit of uh, white so we'll take as 0.2 yes it will be enough now right click on this pie and go to the format data series we'll change the axis we'll take as on secondary axis now we will insert a shape here insert uh, the oval this one and we'll change the size of oval as let's say 0.3 and 0.3 okay now we'll change the color as black and we also change the preset from the safe effects and we'll take the preset as this one or this one okay so friends uh, and we'll change select the entire graph and save fill as no fill shape outline as no outline now our speedometer is ready we'll right click this and cut this from here and go to the summary and paste it here control b okay friend now we also can insert uh, for the uh, data level we can insert a text box click here and we can connect this text box press equal to and we can connect from the here which is the average value of the login hours and we can change the sorry, uh, font name as uh, impact and take the change the size also take the 20 okay and we also can take one more tax box and we can put it here sorry we can change the value as average login hours and we can take this calibre light bold so our speedometer is ready let's check it's working yes it's getting change by using up slicers now we will create this battery chart for login efficiency okay so to creating this battery chart for login efficiency uh, first of all this is our login efficiency and we'll one minus login efficiency which is uh, the blank area and for lower and upper cap we'll take as three percent and three percent now we'll simple select this data and go
we will insert a 3d uh, 3d stack column okay right click go to the select data and switch row and column and now remove all the elements from here just change the size of this graph right click go to the format data series first of all we will change uh, it as cylinder now gap width as 0 gap depth as 0 now right click on this go to the 3d rotation and here we have x rotation we will take as 0 and y rotation as 15 is okay okay right click go to the select data now for series 4 we will move it to the upside and for the upper cap we will change the color go to the fill and we will take the fill as solid fill and take this color which is uh, gray 25 percent and this solid okay so friends in my uh, previous video i have uh, already created a video uh, for the how to create a battery chart in microsoft excel you can watch that video also okay so now i'm filling on this part which is my login efficiency and i'm filling at fill and i'm taking this blue color and for the uh, rest part also i'm taking this blue color but this time i will take the transparency as 80 percent okay now i'll go to the insert and i will insert a flow chart and here i will take this which is the flow chart magnetic disk let's put it here now i will change the uh, size of this reduce the size mm, 0.2 1.2 we can put it here and we can change the color of this as black and shape outline is no outline so our battery chart is ready we can right click on this blue color and go to the add data levels data level is added Make it bold and black now go to the format and save fill as no fill shape outline as no outline just cut this battery chart control x and go to the summary and paste it here and we can put it here so it is so what we can do we can make our cards with top smaller and we can put our battery chart here okay now we will create a we will insert a text box and here we will show the login efficiency and we can put it here it worked okay friends so we have created uh, this uh, speedometer and login efficiency for the battery chart and now we will create this moving man chart for the sales conversion in our next video so please watch the next part of this video thank you so much for the watching